Having a clean account structure is very important for any Google Ads search campaigns. That is why we typically recommend that your keyword lives in one location within the account, not taking in the fact of any location breakouts or audience breakouts. Well, luckily for us, the Google Ads editor has a duplicate keyword tool, and that's going to allow us to review if any keyword exists in multiple campaigns or ad groups within the account. And that's exactly what we're going to go over today. For this video, we are actually going to be in Google Ads editor the entire time. This is because the duplicate keyword tool lives in Google Ads editor. So to get to the duplicate keyword tool, we need to go to tools and your first option is going to be find duplicate keywords. Now I have to blur out the campaign names, but in the initial view, you are going to see all the campaigns in your account and every single checkbox for those campaigns will be selected. Advertisers do have the option to unselect every campaign and manually select any campaigns that they want to see. If I uncheck a few real quick, we do have the option to select just active components within the account. Again, this isn't just active campaigns because we can see there are some checked or highlighted elements within paused campaigns. But if we open up one of these paused campaigns, you can see that the ad group itself is still enabled. So that's going to show up if you select active. It's the same line of thinking if you choose paused. It's going to choose any element that's paused, whether it's a full paused campaign or just paused ad groups within enabled campaigns. If you want to see more information about the ad groups, depending on the size of your account, you can click on expand all, and then I'll break down your selection by the ad group level. But if your account is huge and you don't want to see everything that granular, you can click collapse all. But then you are going to have to go back to the top and select the arrow right next to the account name. Then we will get back to just the campaign view again. This is a smaller account. I want to make this video easy, so I'm just going to select all campaigns. Now let's look at the other options we have on the right-hand side here. The default option, and odds are the option you are going to use the most, is choosing a strict word order. Strict word order will not focus on any variants. So if the keyword has the words buy shoes in it, it has to be literally exact. Or if you look at the any word order option, which I'll select, and Google Ads gives you an example here, buy shoes could equal equal shoes by. The any word order option might be valuable in your account if you have an account that has added a ton of different keyword variations over time. If you have a ton of different variants that are similar and you might get recommendations from Google itself about removing some of these close variant terms, then this may be a better option for you. I'm going to leave it at strict word order for now and then head down to the match types. The first option we have selected is duplicates must have the same match type. I only want to compare exact with exact, phrase with phrase, broad with broad. Now the other option, Again, it's going to be depending on what kind of account you have and what type of structure you set up within your account, but finding duplicates with different match types might be a better option for you. Now this next part I feel can be pretty important, again, depending on what account you have. Right now, this account has chosen across selected campaigns. And remember, I have every single campaign in this account selected. So when I eventually do run this to try to find my duplicate keywords, I'm telling Google find duplicates across all of my campaigns. Depending on how your account is structured, you can look for duplicates within just the same campaign, or you can find duplicates living in just the same ad group. It's like with anything else within Google Ads, the deeper we get into the campaign and ad group levels, the less information you're going to receive once you run the tool. And last, before you run the report, you have the option to hide certain duplicates. If you just got recent changes within the editor account and you still have removed campaigns, we can block those out. If you run specific search campaigns that have an end date and you're not planning on bringing that campaign back again, you can also exclude those keywords. And then you can also hide any duplicates from showing up in paused campaigns or ad groups. These selections all make sense because if they're not running anyway, it's okay to have the duplicate keywords because they won't be competing with any active keywords within your account. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to try to show you as many duplicate keywords as possible. So I'm going to just uncheck these two. And now let's run the report. For right now, it doesn't look like we get a ton of columns, but we're going to look at how we can update these columns very soon. And remember, right before I ran the duplicate tool, I unchecked the paused boxes. So that's why we're seeing a lot of keywords within paused campaigns or ad groups. But you can initially see looking at each keyword segment, you can see they're all broken up by dotted lines of where certain keywords live within multiple campaigns and then which corresponding ad group within those campaigns. Now there is one example I do want to talk about, and unfortunately I don't have a visual to go with, but there's many accounts that I work on that break up their campaigns by specific locations, or they break up the campaigns by audiences, or by the device that a user is on. This can duplicate the exact keywords, potentially with the same match types, many, many times. So if you're selecting all campaigns, it's going to look like a lot of these campaigns have duplicate keywords, but if you're segmenting your campaigns properly and there isn't technically any overlap, your account is still going to be fine, but the tool is going to show like you have a lot of keywords duplicating in your account. So again, keep that in mind if you are breaking out accounts and getting really specific to depending on location, device, audience, and that sort of thing. I do want to go over the columns that you could add when reviewing your duplicate keywords. 
Other options which I don't have right now, you can add campaign type, status of the keyword, labels for the keyword, maximum CPM, you see CPV, a couple bid estimates, and as I add those two, we can see data between the duplicate keywords. I already have quality score selected, but the next three options after that are the three components of quality score. So let me add those to the mix too. And then a few more options related to keywords, and then your URLs, potentially some tracking. So if I click out of columns, Let's look at this one particular keyword. It has four options. And I know I selected a lot of paused elements, but let's pretend everything here is active and they're running in multiple ad groups. I can make decisions on which keywords are costing me the most money just by a CPC standpoint. If I slide over a little bit, I can then look and see which one of these duplicate keywords is not only the cheapest for me to bid on, but it's also the most affordable for me to try to get the best position on the Google search results. And I'll admit, I don't spend a ton of time reviewing quality score, but if I'm trying to compare what's going to give me the best for my money, I might want to look at which one is going to have potentially the best click-through rate and has the best experience that's contributing to potentially lower CPCs. Sometimes the data in these default columns is going to be enough for you to decide which keywords you may want to pause and which ones you may want to have continue going to eliminate all duplicates within your account. Now, hopefully before we even got to this point, you're thinking to yourself, okay, Joe, CPC is okay, quality score is okay, but I want to make my decisions based off of conversions. What type of return am I seeing from these keywords? if I have a lot of duplicate enabled keywords in my account. And I'm so glad you asked that. Because if I open up the columns again, it's kind of crazy that Google Ads does not give us conversion data for our duplicate keywords by default. But it does not mean this option is missing from Google Ads Editor. All right, to import conversion data within the duplicate keyword tool, we need to go to View Statistics and then click on Get Statistics. First, what you want to do is select your date range. And here we see the typical options that we see within Google Ads. I'm going to choose all time just to get as much information as possible. Again, we can select all our campaigns. And I'm doing this because when I originally went into the duplicate keyword tool, I selected all my campaigns. And we see the same option that we can choose the active, pause. You can manually select whichever campaigns or ad groups you want. Exactly the same as when we went over at the beginning of the video. But now you can choose which stats you want to add as columns for your duplicate keyword reports. I mentioned conversions. So I could select select all the conversion metrics, or I can break that stat down even further and just select a handful of them so I'm not really clogging up my column section. This particular account is not e-commerce, so I might want to look at phone calls. There's other options that we could add here. I know we see competitive metrics. Search impression share could be another important one to add. There's options for attribution, reach, a few other different options. I'm not going to get into every single one of them. You can go in and explore yourself. But if you're happy with the stats that you've selected, just hit OK. We got to wait a little bit until all the stats redownload within the account. You can see I'm still in the duplicate keyword tool. Now let me just slide over a little bit. And then we can see all the stats that I just downloaded into the account. So looking at the same section again, instead of just looking at max CPC and quality score stats, I'm now looking at quantity of conversions these keywords are driving. I'm looking at CPA for these keywords. Which ones have the better conversion rate? Search impression share is pretty even. Not every single one of these has a phone call. And then the last two are display metrics. For some reason they're showing up, but we're looking at keywords here in the search network, so those don't apply. Again, we're pretending that all these keywords are enabled, but if you're reviewing the stats, you're confirming which key keyword is actually driving the best performance, but if you are reviewing the stats and you know certain keywords are definitely overlapping in terms of targeting, within the duplicate keyword tool, you can select certain keywords, you can choose to pause certain ones, or if you see performance that's absolutely junk, you can remove the keywords, and within the duplicate keyword tool, you can start cleaning up your account to make sure that none of these keywords are competing against each other. I'm going to undo these steps because I don't want to make any changes to this account right now. If reviewing the data in the interface is not your thing, you can always go up to account, go to export, and then export the current view. And now you can review in an Excel file all the same stats we were looking at within the channel. Again, all depending on my current view and the current columns that I had selected. So when we do it this way, I only get the information for the columns that I had selected. Back in editor, I didn't have max CPM or max CPV selected, but they're still there in the export with just blank fields. I've used the download a few times. If I want to dig in deeper, review some of the data and manually make those changes within the Google Ads interface, there's no right or wrong. It's just a different way for you to collect the data and review it yourself. But but if you've gone in and you paused your duplicates you wanted to pause or you removed them from the account and everything looks good, all you have to do is click post and then submit your changes within Google. So thanks to the Google Ads editor, that's how easy it is to find your duplicate keywords and make the proper decisions to clean up your account. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.